Hello everybody, Stuart here from Stuby Gaming. Today I wanted to do my first build video for The Ascent. Um, I've played this game an absolute load and uh, I'm currently playing New Game Plus with my first character, although I have played probably three or four different characters to this, this stage. Um, this is the character in question. Um, looks pretty beefy if I'm being honest. So what I'm going to go through is his equipped armor, his equipped weapons, his equipped augments, skills, etc. Just so we can uh, see what's going on. So we've got the best cyber deck there is. Now you can't choose this, you just have to find them in the world. Now what this does allow you to do is it does allow you to basically hack absolutely anything. Um, you can analyze enemies, you can open all doors, you can open all chests, you can hack ATMs to get free credits, you can hack turrets um, as a defense platform, and you can basically hack uh, health and uh, I'm gonna call it mana, but it's energy um, outlets as well. So for me that's an absolute essential because getting your cyber deck up that level means you're not going to run out of money or anything of that nature we have from a skills perspective we have critical hit rate is uh, pretty useful we've got defense as much as possible so this is to make sure that you don't get hit by uh, stun knockdown stagger etc um, Obviously you are still affected by it, but you are much, much, much more resilient to it. We've got maximum health and we've got maximum energy. Um, the health is, obvious reasons, gives you extra hit points. And the energy is so we can start using as many uh, augments as we possibly can. So from a loadout perspective, we have a number of weapons. Uh, try and get them as high as possible. I did make a mistake with this character and leveled up a lot of weapons I didn't need to. So do try and stick to a few weapons. So we have a special weapon interrupter. Now if you can't get hold of the interrupter, the enforcer will do. Um, both of which are energy weapons. The interrupter is one from a downloadable content pack, so it's not too expensive, but if you don't want to spend the money on it, go for the enforcer because it is it's actually higher DPS anyway. Um, it just doesn't give the stasis effect, that's all. So stasis is pretty useful. Uh, from a secondary weapon point of view, um, I go with the Dominator, which is a standard kinetic uh, or ballistic as it's called in this game, machine gun. There are others that you can use um, if you fancy burst fire weapons, um, you can use the commander, I am leveling that up. The benefit of the burst fire weapons in this game is they actually have tracking bullets, so you are very much uh, in a situation where you don't have to aim that much. Um, it's pretty useful if I'm being perfectly honest. Uh, the other one that I am leveling up is HF, HCF Heat. Now the reason I'm leveling this one up is because heat weapons are amazing against live targets. So energy brilliant against robots and heat are amazing against uh, humans or ferals or any creature in the game that doesn't have armor plating. Now. The reason I've gone Dominator as well is because Ballistic are kind of middle ground. They work well on both. Um, not brilliantly, but they do work well on both. So definitely go, if you can, if you find a high speed um, machine gun with heat, then use that without a doubt. Um, so you want to go energy one and heat the other is ideal. Now there are obviously a lot of weapons in this game, and I have tried a number of them. Um, I haven't leveled any of these ones up, if I'm being perfectly honest, but depending on your playstyle, you can go for shotguns, and in, in fact one of my other characters does use a shotgun, and as soon as the enemies get close, it's ridiculously powerful, so definitely worth it. Personally, I haven't found much use for the sniper rifles, but I will look into that in the future. But for this build, we definitely want to go either Enforcer and Interrupter or Dominator 
and just make sure you've got a heat weapon as well. So from a tactical perspective, I'm using Pocket Mech. Now, this thing is absolutely insane, and I will show you when I, I do a bit of uh, gameplay. But this is my tank character, and the Pocket Mech is just absolutely amazing at absorbing damage. It also dishes out a lot of damage as well. Now that's the thing with this game and something you should take into account. Do not try and just spec DPS because all characters are good for DPS. If you want to do a specific class like I am doing, either go healing, tank, or if you really want to, you can go for um, crowd control so you can do things like EMP grenades or stasis drones um, but definitely try and go a not just DPS especially single target DPS pretty much everyone is uh, decent at that I mean this is a full-on tank build and even he is absolutely insane at killing um, now one thing to, to take note of is in this game weapons you don't find different uh, qualities of weapons you have to upgrade them to those qualities so you will only ever find level one weapons while you're out and about in the world it's just the way this game is it's a shame i wish they did have uniques uh, maybe they'll add those in the future but as it stands at the moment you will only find level one you then have to upgrade them with um upgrade materials in effect so my level 10 interrupter was obtained at level one for armor we've got the best armor I've got so all I can say is you want to be going for the highest armor but you want to make sure that you do have good resistances so if I show this I've got 50 physical defense 50 energy defense 52 digital and 55 fire I've also got five in my upper body attributes now what that means because it doesn't explain it very well is if we have a look here we have these two are upper body the way you can tell is if you look in the center of the screen where it says aiming there at the bottom it's got a blue torso here it's got a green head we've got purple legs and then we've got orange internals so we've got internals lower body upper body and head that's the way it works so with our armor we currently have five upper body now ideally because of the type of build I could do with using something that had internals now the reason I'm not using this is because my defences go very very low but ideally once you get a, a, an item to drop you want to try and find it where it's got as good vitals and I suppose lower body um, balance as it's called here so upper body and balance is probably what you're, you're looking for um, but do not do that at the sacrifice of your defences. Um, defenses are what your armor's for. The attributes they give you are just a nice bonus. Okay, then from a torso perspective, I'm actually I've got a few that are, are pretty decent. Um, so the one I'm using is this one. Um, now I don't think I've got any with better. Yeah, I could swap to that, and if I did, I would just change the visuals. So if we have a look, this one at the moment has got critical hit rate of plus 2, and 44 physical, 49 energy, 58 digital, and 59 fire. If we went for the custom sec 5 rig, we would get two internals, but we'd also get a load of boosts as well. So we'd get a boost to weapon handling and spread reduction, Whereas currently we've only got critical hit boost. So this might actually be better to go for. I'm going to put it on and I will change the visuals. So as I say, try and get the best defences as you can. Internals and balance for your attributes. And any boosts that you can get are obviously useful. 
And then for our legs, um, I have got these. They're pretty decent, to be fair. Uh, the best ones that I actually have. We've got no attributes, but we do have boosts. The difference between that is our attributes affect our core. So where we have our skills here, if you look on the right-hand side of the screen, we've got attributes listed at the uh, in the middle. Now, if we go into here, um, so because we've got each of these here adds to our head total, and these add to our upper body total, these add to our lower body total, and these add to our internal total. So you can see my internal attribute currently is at 20, uh, 42, because I've got 40 with these two, and then I have one item that gives me an extra two. Again, 35 here, I don't have anything adds to lower body. Um, I've got eight here in total, but I've got something which adds plus five to upper body. And then here I've got 13 in total, and again, I have nothing that adds to my head. So my attributes are different to my skills. The boosts themselves boost these individual skills, not the multiply or the addition of the two. So currently I have vital signs, which is this particular skill here. So currently I have that at 22. Um, I have critical hit, which currently I have that at um, 14 because I've got 11 personally in that skill and then an additional three from my boosts. Now what that does obviously is it just gives you a higher percentage so uh, plus 200 health for vital signs but I also have another two points in vital signs and you get 10 per point so that gives me an extra 20 so I've got an additional 220. Now you do start with 100 so if I go back to my um, oh, oh. That's that's why I'm showing details. Yeah, so I've got 337 hit points. Um, so I just got a little boost, basically. Okay, so I need to go and change the visuals on my armor. But other than that, for my augments, we've got two different melee type. So we've got hydraulic slam. Now what you have to remember is each of those is based on a certain type of um, attribute. That's the one I'm looking for. So it's all based on a certain type of attribute or skill, I should say. So all of these here, the ones with the orange logo, ignore the colour of the actual name. Um, that's not important here. But all of these ones with the purple eye uh, sorry the uh, orange icon are improved by biometrics so all of these here will be much better for my particular character this one here is improved by frame so it's improved by your lower body so if we go back over here and go to details my lower body is currently at 35 so my propulsion my my leg um, propulsion leap is much much better because I've got that improvement of 35 points. Now the one I'm currently using hydraulic slam is actually improved by my upper body which is not very high. However it is still an extremely powerful attack and because I'm more melee focused I'm getting in there than anything else um, it's actually extremely useful. Now there are a load that you can have. Stasis Stomp is also useful. Um, launches them into the air and puts them in stasis. So if you want to do crowd control you can actually do that. Which I will do. I hadn't realised I'd actually picked that one up. So Stasis Stomp which again is affected by lower body. Then in our module slots, so these aren't augments, these are just additional boosters for your character. I have Vita Science Booster and my other one is Tactical Charge. Um, tactical Charge just means that I recharge my mech suit faster. Um, I could also go for Speed Heal mod uh, just to keep me in the fight longer, but to be perfectly honest, I think because it's only for health pickups and abilities, because I'm not using a healing ability, then, and my health pickups are, 
I do pick them up, obviously, but I just think that healing, uh, sorry, my extra health, and also getting my tactical uh, item back up and running faster is much, much better. So, that is the character. I will uh, now skip to where I'm in combat so you can see the character in use. Okay, so here we are out and about. Um, I am on New Game Plus, so these guys are still pretty hard. So I'm using my ballistic weapon at the moment, as you can see. And it is pretty good, but um, fire would actually be better. So let's switch to my... You can see that it's okay, but it's... I mean, this is burst fire, so this is... Uh, So this is pretty decent, so supervisor hat is pretty useful, pretty useless, sorry, at this level. If we go back to our loadout, so we've got the enforcer equipped. So let's put the interrupter on and we'll be able to see what that looks like now. Like I say, both are really useful. Um, but the interrupter is specific to DLC, so if you haven't got the DLC, then unfortunately you cannot use this weapon. So he's in stasis. Now the, the good thing about this is you don't have to worry about um, ammo. Uh, you don't run out of ammo. You do run out of ammo in your clip, but you don't run out of ammo in total, so you don't have to pick ammo up, which is the important bit. Now, the good thing about electric or weapons which use energy is it does go through shields, whereas ballistic doesn't. Or it does, but it's not quite as fast, I should say. Okay, so now I'm going to swap to the heat. So you can see it actually sets the enemy on fire, which is the uh, important bit for the heat. So as soon as I find a heat machine gun, I am going to be using that instead. So I do have my mech ready, so let's just swap my guns back. And then the next group... Um, these here, these turrets, I can't hack because they're already up. But whenever you see a yellow ring on the floor, that is where a turret is located. Um, if the turret isn't currently showing, then... Right, so... That's my skill, so you can see those two in the air. Um... my mech suit. There you go, you can see he's, uh, oh there we go, some nice uh, shock armour again. So this guy's timed, I'm not even sure he has a health himself, uh, he may do, but I've never had him killed, he's always just run out of time. Now there's no running or anything like that when you've got him, so it's usually good to summon him when you've got like a big boss or something like that. But you can just go straight back into combat afterwards. And he's already almost a quarter charged. He is a quarter charged already. Um, and that's why that tactical thing is so important. There we 
Okay. say that hurt but it didn't there we go heal myself a bit more there we go I need to go this way so once you're in your suit you can't actually get out of it until the time runs out and it does slow you down a little bit, um, so it is a trade-off, but as you can see, the, the actual power that it gives you is um, unbelievable in comparison, so it's definitely worth it. There are many others, as I say, and, you know, it's not that that's the only one you could pick. It's just for this particular build, it definitely is the best, because this is a very tanky build. Um, I mean, I say it's very tanky because... I can stand there for quite a while. Most characters wouldn't be able to do that without uh, having severe problems. Now we'll go into more detail in another video about what all the different pickups mean and the icons and things like that. Um, and I might go into one specifically about weapons etc um, simply because there are so many different types now as I say there are any standards there aren't any interesting um, uniques or anything like that which is a shame but you still do get um, you still do get a large variety of weapons pistols machine guns sniper rifles rocket launchers grenade launchers um, all sorts of different weapons, so I will go into that in more detail in another video. But there we go, I think uh, I think that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully it's uh, been useful, especially for the type of build. So if I go back into, and the benefit of playing solo, which I'm doing for this video, is when you go into your menu it does pause, um, whereas if you're playing in a, a group, if you uh, go into your menu you will actually how should I say, um, still be attacked, which is not very nice. So yes, um, with the weapons, uh, as I say, there's there's loads of different types, um, and you know I will go into that in more detail. I will go into more detail with the skills as well, what each of those means. Um, bounties as well. I will do a video on pretty much all different aspects of this particular game um, and if you do have any questions then please leave them in the comments down below and I can cover those in the future as well. Well guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please make sure you do click the like button. Subscribe if you are new to the channel or if you haven't done so already. Share the video with all of your friends and please do leave a comment down below and let me know what you thought of the video and anything else you'd like to see in the future. If you want to support me more, please follow the link to the Patreon page. It's displayed on screen and I look forward to seeing you for my next video very soon. You'll take care. Bye for now.